Joining me now is Kamaro Usman here on UFC Live. All right, so I got to tell you a secret. I was a little concerned about you coming up here today because you are <laughs> the one dude, only a handful of dudes, but you're one of them, that I'm a little concerned that when you show up, you're going to outdress me. Okay? <laughs> and so you came with a fit that's even down for you, but look, no, no shirt, but... But the diamonds are in full effect. Try, trying something different. Trying something <laughs> different here. You know, I'm trying to keep up with you guys. Is that what it you is? You guys might not have the diamonds, but no. you guys have subtleties that definitely set the fashion world on fire. What we also don't have is that UFC championship money. A little long <laughs> for you. Uh, let me talk about what we're going to see here at UFC 276 first before we get to your next fight. Because I'm going to go out on a limb here, Kamaru, and say that you are going to assume and predict that your fellow countryman, Israel Adesanya, will win and retain his welterweight belt but from a performance standpoint what are you expecting from him well for him i just think stylistically this is an incredible matchup for him okay because as long as he's able to do what he does best which is able to control the distance control the angles he's very very difficult for guys to be able to figure out because he's he, he's on a different rhythm and a different count right. than most of these other fighters and that's what i think sets him apart his name exemplify it just signifies everything that he is he's a style bender the way that he's able to mix things up so if he's able to do that you know tomorrow night i think he walks away with this belt you know whether it's mma or basketball or soccer those who are the greatest oftentimes make what they do look really easy and at times over his last several fights Kamaro, he's been sort of criticized by fans because he hasn't been flashy enough he hasn't had enough knockouts you've heard that before too people have said that like oh that masvidal fight was kind of boring da, da, da. how much does that matter to a champion not just winning but going out there and putting on a show for the fans but that, that's what you want though as a champion, that's what you want. Okay. You want to be so dominant that people kind of get bored with, with the competition, with the way that you're able to dismantle them. And so that's what you want. Because that, if you're a real champion, that motivates you. Mm. That motivates you, okay, what can I do now to really set them on fire you this time? You need that motivation? Every time. You don't necessarily need it. Okay. But as a champion, you want it. Okay. You want it because that's what you worked hard for. That's, you worked your whole life to become a champion. So when you become champion, you want that respect. So when people are like, oh, it's boring or you, you're not getting that, you know, that respect level right. it starts to eat away at you. So at some point you want that and you go find it. And that's what I think is he, he said it. You know, he wants it. He's going to he's going to go out there. and He's going to deliver a performance. And that's what we wait for every time we watch an Izzy fight. You know, in the lead up to this bout, he said that it's not just about wins for him anymore. He wants to be considered the greatest of all time. And obviously to do that, it's not just about how often you win. It's also who you beat and the styles that you have been able to conquer through your career. And now he has an opponent in Jarek Cannonier who had multiple fights at both heavyweight and light heavyweight, and now he's at 185 pounds, still with heavyweight, maybe light heavyweight power. What type of challenge do you think that's going to pose for Adesanya? Jared Kennedy was always a guy that, that was always on my radar. I always watched this guy, and I was a fan of his. Okay. And I remember uh, my manager and I actually having a conversation at one point where he said that one of his fighters was going to be fighting Jared Kennedy. And I said... I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. And, and he said, no, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of him. And uh, <laughs> and I said, I don't know. And sure enough, Jerry Cannonier went out there, and he definitely put on a performance. And so he's a guy that I've been watching for a long time. I'm a fan of his. I love yeah. his work. I love his, his quiet work. Right. That's what I love about guys, guys that, are, that, that can do that quiet work that speaks for itself. And that's what he's done, and now he's deserved that title shot. And I'm excited to see this fight because yeah. I think stylistically he's a guy that can bring the best out of a guy like Izzy. What would be your concern as a fighter if you were facing an opponent who at one time fought two weight classes above where this fight is going to take place? Necessarily a concern. Okay. You know, I would say, yeah, maybe on, on, one, on the flip side, he could be a little slower because he had a lot of that extra weight on him. Right. But then on the flip side, he's coming down with that power that he had over there at heavyweight. Right. So I would say on that might be the concern side. But... You know, Jerry Canyon is a, a well-rounded fighter. He's a complete fighter, and I think this is an amazing fight. I know some people might be sleeping on it, but this is yeah. an amazing Cause fight. Because Izzy's still yeah. a huge favorite, and Absolutely. it's the first time that Jerry Canyon has had a shot at the title. So we'll see what happens UFC 276 main event on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. But as we mentioned earlier, Kamara's going to fight again UFC 278 in August in Salt Lake City, the second time you faced Leon Edwards. But the first match was like, seven years ago almost and i know you're going to say you're going to beat him for a second time obviously but from a fight fan perspective how do you think this fight is going to be different considering how long it was since the first fight the fight's going to be extremely different because leon edwards has grown exponentially when we fought 
I kind of saw him as a, as a as a striker, and he kind of saw me as a, just a pure wrestler. Right. Well, we have definitely put in the work over time to where he's become more of a grappler, yeah. and I've become more of a striker. So to the untrained eye, they're looking at this fight, and they're going, okay, now these guys are grappling and these guys are striking. So it's going to be an entertaining fight. I think he's he's one of the toughest guys that I've ever fought, and I think he's going to bring that because he's chased this opportunity to fight for the title for a long time. I think he's going to bring that to Salt Lake City. And, of course, I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing that <laughs> we, pound, we for already pound know. action to Salt we Lake We already know. City. You also have a chance to win your 16th straight fight, of course, with Ty Anderson Silva for the longest win streak in UFC, really? which you already – you know that. Really? I, I did not know that. Know I that? really okay. did not. I knew it was something close. Okay. So Over if you were there. to have that record, what would it mean to you to have the longest win streak in the history of, of the promotion? I mean, I'll be lying if I say it didn't feel good. Okay. But I don't worry about those things. I didn't worry about when I had five – win streak in the world, five fight win streak. I didn't worry about that. I would only worried about the next guy in line. Okay. And that's what I worried about. And now I think for me, the most important thing is having that label as the pound for pound champion. I want to be able to go out there each and every time and show the world that I am the pound for pound champion. And when I said that I was seriously willing to skip 185 and go up to light heavyweight yeah. and take that belt too, I was serious about that. People thought I was joking, but I was definitely very, very serious about that. Well, we're going to see what happens in the future after you handle your business in UFC 278 at Salt Lake. We'll be the sixth time he has defended the welterweight crown. Kamar Usman, appreciate the time. Enjoy the fights. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.